is it like uh, is there a solution there to like not to avoid but at least like to focus on the important stuff at the beginning and then leave these things to the end like not to waste your effort and your like energy at the beginning yes test driven development which is also called test driven design which you're designing your apis from the test point of view and by doing so it forces you to leave details for later like, hey, I'm focusing here in what I'm building. Oh, I need to talk to an API. Mm, should I use Alamo Fire? It doesn't matter right now. Let me create a, you know, let me write a boundary interface or a closure here to decouple my system from this so I can keep testing without making this decision yet. And then, oh, now I need to store this to a database. Should I use Core Data? Should I use Realm? I don't know. Maybe I should try out this new cool thing that Apple is introducing. Well, actually, I don't need to make this decision right now. I can keep developing it with a fake database that's storing in memory. And then you'll figure out that it's like, okay, this is done. And actually the app works with this in-memory database. Let me keep this in-memory database and release a prototype to the product team. And they can play with it. Of course, it's not gonna catch things when you kill the app, it's gone, but you have a working prototype, you know? And it might be good enough to release to the clients, to your customers in the app store, even before you have a database ready. So test-driven development or test-driven design, like. You know, leaving details for later, creating good boundaries in your system, following good design principles. And then at some point, you will have to deal with the infrastructure. And you will allocate the time you need to implement just that boundary interface. And you might get stuck in there because, you know, there are details that you don't know about the framework. You're going to read the documentations. You find out like WWDC videos to, you know, to learn the obscure like details about the frameworks and trying out, but separating your application from those frameworks will make it easier to finish your application even without the frameworks. And then when you need to implement the frameworks, they are isolated in a point that if you're spending too much time, it's like, you know what, I'm giving up, I'm gonna try something else. You discard the branch, start from a new, from a starting point where it, everything's working and you try another framework, another solution. So using Git is critical as well here. Always committing often, like we show in the program. You know, so you have a always a you know a checkpoint. You can go back in time and say, okay, this is working. All the tests are passing. Now I'm going to start implementing this core data implementation. And then you get stuck for a while. You know what? I'm going to discard to go back to the checkpoint where everything was okay. I'm going to try again with a different strategy or a different framework. So always being able to very easily roll back work. It's key. So having a good Git history, a good Git strategy, you know, like versioning, 